agree with you completely. You should have known that. Hey. You're the farmer here? You could say so, but I'm really just a tenant. All the land here is owned by one big farmer. He never would have thought of that himself. How do you make a living? Mostly hunting and the wood we cut. Of course, we also raise sheep and work the land. Onar saddles me with all these laborers and I have to keep them busy somehow. Only a few of them are good hunters, you see. Do you really believe that? What do you think of Onar? <laughs> He's a greedy bastard who'll get us all hanged in the end. One of these days, the paladins will come out of the city and make us small farmers bleed for what he's doing here. But I haven't got a choice. The militiamen only come here to collect and not to defend the farm. If I held myself loyal to the city, I'd be very much on my own. At least Onar sends some mercenaries now and then to see how we're doing. What have you got against the royal troops? It's obvious. There hasn't been any improvement now that the paladins are in the city. Just the opposite. Now these cursed militiamen come onto our land even more often and steal everything they can. And the paladins don't do a darn thing about it. The only paladins that I've ever seen are the two guards at the pass. <laughs> they wouldn't budge an inch, even if the militia slaughtered us all. You listen to the wrong people. The pass? Yeah, the past of the old valley of mines by the waterfalls at the other end of the high pastures. Ask Malik about it. He was there a couple times last week. Nobody ever asked me. You're employing day laborers? Onar sends away the workers he can't use on his farm. Then, he sends them to me. I feed them and they work here for me. But no, he insisted he knew better. Has anything strange happened around here lately? Many strange things are happening these days, but none as strange as the mysterious disappearance of Pardos. He's one of my field workers, and certainly not the kind who would drop everything overnight and slink off just like that, you see. What exactly is so strange about his disappearance? Pardos is such a timid sort. The furthest he's ever been from the farm is to the end of my fields. He would run away at the mere sight of a meat bug. Those things may not be pretty to look at, but you really couldn't call them dangerous. They say there's people who eat them. Gross. You get used to it. He insisted he knew better. You have to feel sorry for the poor. Maybe he was simply fed up. Working in the fields was his life. I cannot imagine him having gone to work for another farmer. With me? He could do whatever he wanted. Any clues at all? I think those bandits must have dragged him off. They've been roaming around this area for days now. I once saw them drag a citizen of the town off to their camp. It looked like they were gonna make him a slave. Where is this bandit camp? At the far end of my fields, some steps lead down to a small hollow. That's where they have made themselves at home. I'd like to go look for Pardos there, but there's no way I'm going up against those guys. And you had better give him a wide berth, too. They're not known for their sense of humor. Were the bandits carrying weapons when they passed by here? What kind of stupid question is that? How would they be bandits if they weren't armed? I mean, a whole load of weapons. A big delivery. I see. Yes. Now that you mention it, they were carrying lots and lots. Some in barrels, some in bags, and some on the cart they brought. That alone would cause more trouble. But no, he insisted he knew better. Anything's possible. Nobody will learn anything from me. I don't want to hear that. Everything all right? Yet another day laborer who doesn't know where to go? No problem. Talk with our farmer, Bengar. What are you doing here? I'm the shepherd here. It's not exactly a demanding job. But now and then, you really have to watch out. Especially if you get too close to the pass. 
I don't see any women here at all. You got that right. This is a man's farm, so to speak. Works pretty well, I think. Where can I find the pass to the old Valley of Mines? Near the two waterfalls on the other side of the high pastures. He insisted he knew better. What do you know about the pass? Not much. Just that it leads to the old Valley of Mines that was surrounded by the barrier until a few weeks ago. Back then, the only thing we farmers had to be afraid of was the monthly caravan that took all kinds of goods to the Valley of Mines. Those cutthroats often made life difficult for us out here. That's been known a long time. Have you ever been to the Valley of Mines? No, but I go near the pass once in a while. Then I always see those two paladins who stand around and keep watch. It looks like they're making sure that nothing comes out of the valley. Back then, the Valley of Mines was a natural prison. If you went in, you never came out again. What is it they say about the Valley of Mines? All sorts of things. Some of the boys say they've heard screams at night. Some have seen strange lights over the mountains. But if you ask me, it's all just old wives' tales. Tell me more about the Paladins. How long have they been posted there? A week or two, I suppose. I don't know exactly. Some time ago, there was even a whole troop of them that disappeared into the pass. Since then, I haven't seen them again. Don't work too hard. I'll try.
I think I've found something. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there.
Nothing to be had there. I think I've found something.
nothing there. I used to say that myself. You hardly know who to believe these days. That will never change. I'd have gone about it differently. He thinks it's as easy as that. Nobody will learn anything from me. I couldn't care. Show that. me your wares. Certainly, brother of the ring. to happen sooner or later. That's all just gossip. You just have to listen. I'm not telling you anything new. No. Nobody will learn anything from me. No one really wants to hear. There's nothing you can do about it. There's more, believe me. I'd have gone about it differently. Same old thing all over again. Nobody will learn anything from me. The things I could tell you.
Hey, you! How are things? So-so. Those mercenaries aren't much help, really. I had expected them to have a little more guts, at least. But they're just a bunch of braggarts and loudmouths, if you ask me. So what about those things I buried? Have you found them yet? What was your business with the mercenaries? I already told you I'm looking for this fellow in red armor. But the idiots here have no idea what I'm talking about. I take it you're looking for someone named Dexter? Damn it, how would I know the fellow's name? Maybe we should go and see him together. I've still got a bone to pick with him. I can handle that by myself. I know where you can find him. Really? Tell me! Not far from here. He seems to be the leader of an evil gang of bandits. Ha! <laughs> yup. That's him. I knew the old landlubber'd hold up here somewhere. Now, all I need to do is scour all the hideouts and rat holes around here. I'll find that bastard. Don't need your help for that. I found your buried things. Then you should be carrying about a hundred gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. And they're all mine. Give them here. Here's your stuff. A bag with one hundred gold coins. A golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. Very good. You're lucky that you weren't dumb enough to simply take the stuff and run. Here's your share of the booty. He should have known better. Tell me that isn't true. They all ran like rabbits, and I was completely <laughs> You already know what I think. I used to say You already that know myself. what I think. Anything possible. No idea. You tell me. <laughs> That'll never change. Better to watch out who you tell why. I wouldn't have done that. Tell me that isn't true. He should have known better. Idea, you tell me. It can't go on like this forever. Eh, been there, done that. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. <laughs> That'll never change. You already know what I think. Damn it. 
What's up? Everything all right? Ah, an unfamiliar wanderer. I am very busy, so what do you want? What interesting things are there to see here? Interesting is well put. If you go deeper into the woods here, you'll run into some very evil fellows. They're about ten feet tall, hairy, and in a really bad mood. So don't go there if you're not strong enough for them. What are you doing here? Well, the things a woodcutter and hunter usually do. Can you teach me something about hunting? Sure, but first get me something decent to eat. I'm dying of hunger out here. I want a bottle of milk, a loaf of bread, and a fat ham. Then I'll teach you what you want. Uh. Here's the food you wanted. Fantastic. And now? Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? Take off a shadow beast horn, brace yourself against the skull with all your might, pulling on the horn and cutting the thing out with a hard blade. Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? The mandibles of a mine crawler or field raider have to be removed with a very strong metal lever. They are lodged very deeply in the animal's skull. Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? You remove the heart of the animal with a death cut in the chest. But it's usually only worth it with special animals or magical beings. Teach me how to hunt. I can't teach you anything you don't already know. Get away with that. You don't have to ask me. Those are all just words. I've got no time to 